Okay, we've established these first four controls. Now for the second set of controls, what I might do is assign those to the compressor in the EQ. So I'll turn the compressor on by hovering over it and turning its power button on. And I'll double click here, change this to compressor. And I'll assign this to the compressor on the channel strip. I can either do that by opening the compressor here and doing the learn command, or I can do like we learned in the last video. I can go in here to the compressor and assign it manually. So the obvious ones to choose would be the threshold. Where is the threshold? Compressor threshold. This would be ratio. and then attack and release. Now you see this one has two mappings on it already, so I want to make sure to delete the mapping. So I'll go to the compressor, and I'll use release. There we go. So there are my compressor settings, and then maybe I'll give myself two bands of sweepable EQ. Come over to these. And we'll call this mid one frequency. We'll assign that to channel EQ, say peak two frequency. And this one is going to be peak two gain. Down below, this will be peak three. Peak three frequency, and then peak three gain. So now I have an instrument mixer. Control over the compressor that's built into the summing bus. And then I have my EQ, which I need to relabel EQ. It may be that I'll sacrifice one of these knobs to give myself a send to an effect or something like that, because 12 is the maximum number of knobs that I can be using at this point. So let's have a listen to it and kind of play around with it a little bit. Now that's controlling the volume for the entire sum, so I need to reassign that to be default main volume. <laughs> 